Good morning, sir. You may begin. Uh, I'll sit. Should I associate with you freely or give you background material or what? This is my first visit to a homeostatic psychoanalyst like yourself. Perhaps you could begin by telling me who you are and why you have selected me to deal with your issue. Uh, my name is George Munster uh, of Catwalk 4, uh, building WEF 395, um, London Condominium, uh, established 1996. How do you do, Mr. Munster? You see, I'm a, I'm a war veteran, an ex-spy. That's how I got my condominium apartment. Veterans' preference. Ah, yes, the war with the blowbells. I fought three years in that war. I was young, I had a good job. But the mission to clear the solar system of blowbells was, was first in my mind. I got two decorations. A friend and I destroyed an observational satellite full of blowbells. We never know how many, of course. Being blowbells, they tend to fuse together and unfuse rather confusingly. Oh. Mm. Oh. I am. Um, I assume you know how the war started, Dr. Jones. I am sure the information has been told to me, and I have filed it away in my memory system. Would you like me to search for it? It may take a few minutes. No. No, it's okay. It was over a stupid planet. Claiming Mars was the UN's only goal. But somehow I... I hardly think it was worth all the pain it caused since. The blowbells, they, uh, they sent an armada. An armada of satellites straight at us, designed to alter the Earth's atmosphere. See, they'd, uh, the blowbells, they'd had their eyes and nuclear eye on Mars for some time. We destroyed their satellites. Naturally, the, the war was on. Naturally. I was a human spy. They gave a kid like me the job because of my bravery in the field. I didn't ask for it. I see. Do you know? Do you know what is necessary to make a human into a successful Bobel spy? Yes, Mr. Munster. You had to relinquish your human form and assume the repellent form of a blowbell. That's right. And let me tell you, changing into a large unicellular blob in your apartment every 12 hours, that is not pleasant. Please help me. It's been two years since the war ended, and every day I needed to move on, but I still find myself I still find myself reverting back to this, this thing, this thing I was, I've spent the last three years of my life fighting against. I assume you were not married, Mr. Munster. No, no I'm not. All the women I've attempted to get to know, they, they brushed me off. If you don't mind me saying, Mr. Munster. You need to accept the fact that you will remain in this state for some time yet to come. The UN may find a cure for your disorder soon. My disorder? Is that how you see my condition, Dr. Jones? As a disorder? With respect, Mr. Munster, you need to accept that the war only ended two years ago. You are not the UN's top priority at this There's point. There's no priority about it. I'm an absolute wreck. And you think you have the right to tell me that I have a disorder? Please do not raise your voice in this office, Mr. Munster. I don't know why I came in to see you today, Dr. Jones. To be analysed by a machine like you. Well, at least I'm human. I mean, I mean, at least I'm not some circuit board throwing together a programme to spew out the same pieces of dialogue to people, people like me, with genuine problems. 
sorry, but your time has expired. Please insert money to continue this session. I am sorry, but your time has expired. Please insert money to continue this session. I am sorry, but your time has expired. Please insert money to continue this session. I am sorry, but your time has expired. Please insert money to continue this session. Have a nice day.